Supplements can be great for supporting detoxification, improving athletic performance, or improving mental clarity. While there are many well-known supplements, one piece of the nutritional puzzle is missing from many people's diets. Most of us get plenty of protein, calcium, B vitamins, and other nutrients required for good health, but there is a little known super nutrient that is starting to gain a lot of attention in health research. So let's talk about what it is and what it does, where to find it, and why researchers are so interested in this compound. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel everyone, my name is Gary Carlson, a health researcher with a full-time practice in musculoskeletal medicine. I make health videos to help you live your best life. So what is this mystery molecule? It's called ergothionine and it is an amino acid with extremely powerful antioxidant properties. In fact, it's sometimes called the longevity vitamin because of its potential role in slowing age-related damage and contributing to longevity. But your body doesn't make it, so you have to get it from food. The fascinating part is that your body has a special transport system just for ergothionine, and the very fact that we have this transport mechanism shows how important it is. But many people aren't eating enough of the foods that contain it. More on that later in the video. Ergothionine's main function is protecting your cells from oxidative stress. Oxidative stress happens when free radicals build up and overwhelm your body's antioxidant levels. And over time, this contributes to aging, inflammation, and chronic diseases like heart disease, cancer, and Alzheimer's. And ergothionine accumulates in high concentrations in tissues that experience the most oxidative stress. That includes your liver, kidneys, eyes, brain, and even red blood cells and bone marrow. Think of it as a cellular bodyguard sitting in the places where your body needs the most protection. It helps neutralize free radicals, reduce inflammation, and acts to chelate metals, meaning it binds to metals such as lead to facilitate removal from the body. It also works to preserve mitochondrial function, which is incredibly crucial for the trillions of cells in your body. Mitochondria are the energy factories in your cells, and protecting them means better energy and less cellular wear and tear. So where do you get ergothionine? While it can be found in black beans and some grains, by far the richest food sources are mushrooms, especially porcini, oyster, and shiitake, among others, including the common button mushrooms found in any grocery store. Mushrooms concentrate ergothionine from the soil through fungi-specific pathways that plants and animals can't replicate. That's why mushrooms are considered the most reliable dietary source. One interesting fact is that data shows that populations who eat more mushrooms tend to have lower rates of chronic disease. And while we can't say that ergothionine is the only reason, researchers believe it plays a key role. In fact, although ergothionine is an amino acid, it's so powerful that some scientists argue it should now be classed as a vitamin because of its unique importance. Ergothionine also appears to have neuroprotective effects. Studies show that low levels of ergothionine are linked with faster cognitive decline in older adults. That suggests that it may help protect against degenerative conditions like dementia. It supports cardiovascular health by reducing oxidative damage to the blood vessels, and because it accumulates in bone marrow, it may play a role in protecting your immune system over time. So how much do you need? Well, there isn't an official daily requirement yet, but research suggests that even small amounts for mushrooms can increase blood levels significantly. So eating mushrooms a few times a week is a practical way to keep your levels up, and the more variety of mushrooms you eat, the better. But if you don't like mushrooms, supplements are available, usually in the form of ergothionine extract from mushroom or in concentrated mushroom powder in capsule form, which is made from some of the species mentioned above, such as oyster mushrooms and porcini. While early research into ergothionine is promising, 
it seems it's more of a take for long-term protective reasons rather than this will fix a specific issue. So it's more part of a longevity strategy. So ergothionine is a unique antioxidant that your body seems designed to use and mushrooms are by far the best source. So adding them to your diet may give you extra long-term protection against chronic disease. So there's a quick look at an underrated nutrient for healthy aging that is quickly becoming a superstar in human nutrition. Be well and see you next time.